and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your good pal Oz here today and we're doing something very different, uh, very different and very cool which is our Roblox toys. So we've got a bunch of uh, different ones here which we won't open up today because instead we're going to open up some mystery bags, <laughs> mystery packs, mystery cubes, mystery squares, mystery boxes. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments below what you think they should be called because uh, there's no name on the box for what these uh, little kind of cubes are. So that, that allows us to make up our own uh, name. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think we should call these and I'll choose the coolest name and then for every video onwards I'll use the, the name you've given these mystery cubes or <laughs> mystery boxes. Um, so we'll do that. But what I'm going to do in this video is uh, we're going to open up put it on the side so you can see the guys. So there's 24 different guys we can find in these boxes. And not just does it come with cool guys, and uh, I'll hold it up there, not just does it come with cool guys, but each uh, little box comes with a different virtual item which you can uh, put into the game, like it gives you a little code, co a co code, code? My accent makes it hard to say code. <laughs> and it will give you a code, what you put into the Roblox game, and then that will give you a different like accessory or different um, weapon or, or mount if they have mounts, I haven't got that far into it. But um, yeah, we'll give you like a new virtual item. So what we'll do, we'll open these up, we'll check out the figure inside, then we'll go into the game and check out the virtual item, and then, uh, then we'll go back and then go open up the next one and keep going like that. So because that could take a bit of time, I'll just open, I don't know, I'll watch the clock, but I, I usually aim for 15 minutes max for my videos. So we'll keep opening them until we get around the 15 minute mark, and then we'll stop there and continue in the next video. So uh, now that we know what's going on, let's get started. Okay, now uh, I'm just going to do it randomly. So we'll start with the R. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to have to cut all of these open. So I've got my handy dandy knife. And let's tear it. Now this is my first ones of these I've done before. So it's kind of, well, even just any Roblox toy, these are my first I've done before. As I mentioned, I've, I've played it, but not much. So um, it's kind of good though, because it means that uh, if you're new to Roblox as well, then uh, I can, we can learn together. But uh, if you're an expert at Roblox and you know everything about it, then you can help us because I'll, I'll ask for a lot of questions and you can give me your responses in the comments and uh, we'll learn together. So like in a, I don't know, a month from now when I've opened lots of these, I'll be a pro like you guys. Uh, but first up, anyway, so we got the letter R, there's an the X at the end. Now uh, let's open it up. Okay, so there's the, the code for the virtual item. And we'll get this out. Okay, that's a cool little box by the way. That's awesome. Looks kind of like Minecrafty. Okay, now some bl cool blue guy. He looks pretty angry. <laughs> Let's get him out of the bag. Whoa, okay. Pieces of him went everywhere. So here he is. We'll spin his face around. I don't even know how these guys move, like what kind of articulations they have. But uh, we'll put his hat on because he's got a little wizard hat. Oh, there we are. And we need his legs. Okay, is that the right way around? Uh, yeah, I'd say the flames would be on the front. Okay, so there we go. Now we don't know his name, so I'm just gonna sit him there while we have a look at this and we can work out who he is together. Okay, now that was a good start. It's the very first guy, uh, Astral Isle Apprentice. So we've got Astral Isle Apprentice. Now there's 24 guys, I think, in this series, series four. So there's Axis Angle, Bad CC, Bombo, Cardboard Crusader. I won't go through them all, but there's a lot of guys here. And as I find them, like this doesn't really give me much information about them, but I can go online for each guy we find and we'll get a little bit of a description. And then when we're checking out their virtual items, I can tell them, tell you a little bit more about them. Hey, we can get uh, the uh, Todd, Todd the Turnip. He looks like you can find him in here. There's another version of him. So that's kind of cool. So uh, let's go through this again. So we've got the mystery boxes. So these are all the ones we can open up here. And then there's the core packs, which I'm assuming are these things. Like the, the one-off packs with just one figure in there. And then there is 
vehicles, cool. And then on the other side, there's a little bit more. So there's a game pack. So one specific to specific games inside Roblox. So chicken simulator characters, Mount the Gods characters, Fantastic Frontier characters, and then there's some heroes of Robloxia. So uh, Tesla, Captain Roblox, Dark Matter, whoa. So many people I know nothing about. Cicada looks cool. Okay, and then citizens of Roblox. So we got Doctor, Scarlet, Mick the Cop, uh, Hard Times Henry, he's got, his shirt's got all these holes in them, a robber, and then a fire department guy. And then last one, mix and match, we got Days of Night. So these guys, just going by the name Mix and Max, Mix and Match, I'm assuming that you mean to pull them apart and make your own like awesome looking guys. But I can imagine you could do that with all Roblox characters, because I have a feeling his arms will come off, yes! So there we go, so you can mix and match them in a way by pulling off their arms and legs. But let's see what he can do. So first up, he comes with a hat. Looking good. And see if his head comes off. Yep, his head comes off. That's cool, these guys are like Lego guys so far. Um, and then we saw his arms go off, but they also spin all the way around. Got some cool little vials of like magic potions or magic stuff in his belt there. Lots of little circles, they don't know what they mean. And then uh, his waist you can pull off to so swap his legs with other cool guys. And his legs, he's got some pretty good movement. And good to see that he's got little, uh, what do you call it, little holes there for pegs so he can um, stand on things later on. Oh no, we do have his legs around backwards because there's an L there for left and R for right. Which means his legs were meant to be like this. So that's cool. I haven't seen other sets do that. They tell you which way around the legs are meant to be. So that's cool. Okay, so that's our first guy, and I've already forgotten his name. It was like Alvin or something. I oh, know, uh, Astral Isle Apprentice. Now, forgive me, I'm gonna take a while to learn all these different names, but we'll chuck him over there. And uh, now let's check out his virtual item. So, where has that gone? I feel I've already lost it. Was it on here somewhere? Oh, it might still be in the box. Hold on. No! Where's it gone? I've dropped it! Here we go. Now, I dropped lots of things. When we opened up the bag, there was an explosion of parts everywhere. And uh, so it looks like this Astral Isle Apprentice also came with a staff. Which you can hold like so, I think. It's not staying in his hand so well. How does that get in there? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. It snaps. Snaps into place. So that's very stiff now. That's cool. Uh, most things, you know, the grip on uh, accessories is a little bit loose. But look at this guy. Oh, it's like part of him now. So that's awesome. Okay, I like that. Okay, now this is the code for our exclusive virtual item. So uh, let's check out what it is. Okay, now the first item we have is the Astral Hood. So whenever the Astral Apprentice is not wearing his wizard hat, he can wear this Astral Hood. Now you can see it's got cool stars all over it. It's gray, it's got nice fringy with kind of like blue magic swirls, and then a moon dangling at the back of it. Now let's see it in action, and here we go. So there's my very handsome avatar called the Great Powerful Oz, and he's running around, sporting the new Astral Hood, looking very cool and very classy. Now let's keep going. Okay, now that was awesome. Now on to our next one. We'll go with this O. I don't know why I'm shaking it. They all probably sound the same. I'll cut it open. This is cool. I like opening uh, or, or, or finding things I've never seen before. It makes it kind of exciting, uh, more exciting for me. Now, uh, we didn't really check this out before, but this is the um, wrapping, what comes with the each little box, which is cool. Now, here we have the box itself. So there's the O, and on this side we got another O. Okay, cool. Now, we'll open it up. Three, two, one. Oh, it snapped. <laughs> but here we go. So we've got uh, a different guy, some sort of shirt man with shades. Okay, so we'll put this box there so we can stand him on it. And... I don't want to have another explosion of parts, so I'm going to cut it this time. Okay, now I see some wheels in here. No, dumbbells. That's some sort of tough guy. So let's put them together. So first up, we got his uh, torso. And then we'll stick his legs on. Oh, okay. 
And we got the legs right, so should... Oh, there's no left or right here. Ah, oh. because <laughs> he's got normal feet, it's easy to tell which way is the front, so... Okay, and this guy's got bendy knees too. Check that out. That's awesome. All the uh, possibilities of, of poses we could do with knees. Okay, that's cool. And he's got a smile, so he likes his knees. Now we'll give him his hat. And oh, again, it's got the handy left and right, so I've put it on backwards. There we go. Don't know if it matters though, it looks the same either way. No, it doesn't. Have I done it wrong? Look, it's got uh, the peak at the back, which is kind of not how you're meant to wear hats. But maybe it's his left and my his left and his right. Because for him, this is his left side. So uh, things are getting technical here, but yeah, that's his left and this is his right. So that will be how it is, because that's the front of the hat, even I know that much. Now, he's a tough guy of some sort because he's got dumbbells. So like we learnt from that wizard, you can snap the little uh, parts into his hand. Snap this one in there. So what I'm doing, I'm pushing it down and then giving it a twist. And there we go, locked in place. So this guy's cool, but who is he? So we'll stand him there. Okay, and we've got his uh, little mystery virtual item code. And we'll go into the checklist again. Okay. Oh man, this guy's easy. He's a uh, bad CC. Whoever bad CC is, this is who he is. But uh, when, like I mentioned before, when we check out the virtual item, I'll explain. I'll I'll do some learning for myself. Find out who bad CC is, because I think all these guys are listed on the Roblox site, and then we can kind of discover them together. Find out who they all are. So we got bad CC now. He didn't come with any other accessories except his cool dumbbells. So let's check out this virtual item. Now this next item is. Bad CC's Jailbreaker! Now, I keep hoping I get his name right. It could be Bad... Bad Kiz Jailbreaker. <laughs> but this is a black accessory, it's a weapon. Um, and let's check it out in action. Now here we are, running around, so I'm not wearing my astral hood this time. I'm just running around with the Jailbreaker. Now, I can't swing it in any way in this kind of test area, but it looks amazing, it looks cool, and I'd love to see it in action eventually. Okay, that was cool. Now, we know all about uh, Bad CC. <laughs> I've already forgotten his name. Hold on, I need to learn these names. Yeah, I was right, Bad CC. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's, that's how it's written. Let me fit him there. Oh, there we go. Turn around. Okay, looking good. Okay, now let's open another one. So we've got another O. And um, I don't know if you're interested, but uh, these are another series which are totally, as far as I know, totally mystery packs. Like some kind of sneak little codes in somewhere. And you can usually tell because there'll be a stamp on it somewhere. Uh, like not like a barcode because those are the same for every kind of mystery pack. But there'll be something stamped on here to kind of give you some distinction between one or the other but this one has no kind of stamp which gives me a feeling that there's no kind of codes or cheating ways of knowing which is inside each one which is a shame it's kind of um well it's 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 frustrating if you like spend the six bucks or whatever it is to buy one of these and then you get one you've already got but that's that's the whole nature of mystery packs i guess but um, I do like, I do prefer how some, some series will give you a code. So if you're in the know and if you really don't want to get the same one, you can kind of work out which ones you've already got from the code. But uh, anyway, now we've got another O there. Oh, another O and an O. I don't know if these mean anything, but that's the same as uh, Bad CC's box. Now, who do we have inside? Three, two, one. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, it's a different guy. I thought for a second it was Bad CC. I saw the grey shirt. Uh, and I thought it was him. Yeah, this is some sort of kind of like football guy. Yeah, it looks cool. Okay. Open him up. I am going to risk tearing it. No explosions this time. Okay, now put that down there. Now let's assemble him. So he comes with a cool helmet and football, I can see. So there's his face. That looks like the front. Okay, looking cool. Now, his football will slot into his hand now. 
Nice. And his legs, where have they gone? Ugh. Let's turn them around. Nope, this is the right way. Some of these legs, you gotta really push to kind of get them to click properly. Like you can do it like that, and that kind of works. But if you really want them in there, you gotta give them a little bit of force, and then it clicks all the way in. Now, last thing we need, so we'll check out his head first. So he's got the little kind of like dark, I don't know what they rub under their eyes, some sort of dark coal, <laughs> or I don't know. If, if, you, if you're in America and you play sports or, or, or whoever you are, if you know what that dark stuff is they put under their eyes, uh, let me know, because it'll be interesting. Because I've, I've, I've always just assumed it's coal, but I don't know why people would rub coal under their eyes. Apparently uh, they do it, so I know why they do it. Apparently it stops glare, so if you put uh, dark stuff under your eyes, come focus, focus, um, then it will stop the glare and kind of make it easier to see if it's a sunny day. Um, that's, that's, I could be wrong, but that's what I've always thought. Now, we'll put his helmet on. Ooh. And there we go, he looks very safe and protected, he's got an R for Roblox on the side there. He's the number zero zero. His uh, shoulder pads look like they can be lifted off, but they can't. And just like the last guy we saw, Bad CC, he's got bendy knees. And spinny torso, spinny head. Now looking awesome, and we gotta work out his name. We'll put him there. Now who do we have? So these are all the mystery boxes. Going down the checklist, there he is. Uh, Roblox High School Quarterback, which is awesome. Okay, and now time to check out his uh, exclusive virtual item. Let's go. And next up for the quarterback is the quarterback attack. So he's got a cool helmet uh, or accessory slash hat. Um, now let's look at it, so it's orange and white, it's got a big R on the side, just like the, um, the, the toys version, but he's wearing a blue and orange one, whereas the one for the virtual game is uh, white and orange. Now let's see it in action. Okay, now there it is. Looking really cool. Jumping around, it looks nice. It looks uh, particularly classy with the sunglasses on underneath. Okay, now on to the next one. Okay, there we go, so let's move the high school quarterback over to here. And you can still see him, we'll put him there. Okay, now uh, I think we're doing okay for time, so we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit though. We'll speed it up and we'll, um, where's my knife? Where's my beautiful pink knife? And we'll um, open maybe, we'll go for two more. We'll see how we do for time, but I think we're, we're okay. I'm guessing, because uh, I won't know the full time until I put everything together. But uh, it feels like we've got some time to spare. Now, uh, here we go. An R on that one, and then the X over there. And with all these little kind of bumps and everything, I think that's so you can put, you can stack them all on top of each other. We'll uh, experiment with that later. What's that? Okay. Anyway, um, so, gonna open it up. Three, two, one! Oh, someone cool. It looks like some quick kind of. I think it was this. This was that cardboard box warrior we saw before. I think, I think, we'll put that there. Now let's open him up. And kids, be careful with knives at home. <laughs> I've cut myself many times, uh, not while doing this, but uh, in the past. And I'll probably cut myself many more times in the future. So, uh, I, yeah, be careful with knives. <laughs> I'm a little bit careless myself. Um, okay. So here he is up front, now we'll put on his legs. Now, what's the front, what's the back? Doesn't say, but the knees are helping us with this one, so... Of course, unless you're a normal human, your knees bend forwards. Or bend backwards, bend backwards, I think is the right way to say it. So there we go, so there's him there, and then... This little slot looks like you meant to put this in here. Oh, I hope I got that right. And then his cool swords go in there. But we'll also get him to hold one. And oh, looks like we do that sideways trick again. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of wedged nicely in there. And does he have any hats or anything? Yes, he does. Okay, well, so cool. Okay, ready? Doo, doo, doo. Oh, there we go. Cardboard box warrior. Now I'm guessing his name. It's not <laughs> let's not shout out his name until I actually know what it is. Um, close. He's the Cardboard Crusader. Nice, okay. 
And this is for what well, looks cooler. I think he's gonna look cooler with them in his back back sheath. Chuck them in there. Nice. Okay, and then where's his box? Okay, and where is his mystery code? I think this is it. So let's uh, check out this virtual item. Okay, now next up we have the cardboard greatsword. Now this thing looks really cool. It looks like um, uh, so it's a it's gear. So I haven't worked out how to view gear. Like maybe you have to have a sword, and then this is a skin which kind of replaces the sword you get in some games. But uh, I haven't been able to do a test run to see what it looks like in the game itself. So here we can see it though, it's, it's a sword made out of cardboard. It looks a bit like Cloud Sword from the original Final Fantasy VII, but uh, that's just my guess. I haven't actually researched it, but uh, just looking at the kind of wings on the handle, that's what it is to me. Okay, so we're doing well. So we've got uh, four unique brand new guys. Let's move the Cardboard Crusader over there. Now, uh, very last one, I apologize if this video has gone on too long. Uh, I'm, I think I'm pushing it, opening a fifth one, but I love to open these, and opening only four doesn't seem that great, so let's keep going. And nice work for uh, making it to the end of the video, too. Or well, this far, at least. Now, uh, here we go, so another O, spin around the back, another O. Now, three, two, one. Hey, it's a different guy again. That's the first thing I worry about. As soon as I open it up, I'm like terrified it's gonna be a double up. But so far, we've been lucky. So who is this guy? He's got a strange face. Wow, okay. So he's got like a really creepy, crazy eye. Kinda like the eye of Sauron a little bit. And we'll track his legs on. Now there's no, no, I'm getting the hang of these legs too, so I can kind of see straight away now that this is the way it goes. And now this guy's got a wing, or maybe two wings. Now he's got two wings. Now how do these fit in? I'm assuming, spin them around like that. And then this one, like that. Okay, very cool. Now, if I was to guess my favorite guy out of all these, it would be the, ah, oh, yeah, it will be this guy so far. Maybe Cardboard Crusader, I don't know. But uh, look, here we have him, so the last one. And let me know in the comments below, who is your favorite guy? Because these six guys are all very different to each other. Like we got a cool sporty guy, we've got a Cardboard Crusader who's in his own kind of genre, uh, a wizard, and then some cool guy with weights. I, I, I don't know what, 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 what kind of category of fellow he would be. Uh, and then we've got this mystery guy at the front here. Oh, I've got to work out his name. Ah, uh, there we go, the Crimson Cat's Eye! I guess because he has a cat's eye and it's crimson colored, that, that kind of speaks for itself, but that's very cool. Now uh, let's check out his virtual items, let's go! Now here's the very last one, it is the Cat's Eye Pauldron. So this belongs to Crimson Cat's Eye, and it's like he doesn't have enough eye, like his eye isn't noticeable enough already. He's got to have a big giant one on his chest and on his back between his shoulders. And then as you can see when he's running around in, in the game, he's got them all over his shoulders as well. So billions of eye, crimson eyes on his shoulders, one on his chest, one on his back. He's not going to have any problems with magpies because if they see eyes, they, they think you're watching them so they don't attack. I don't know if you've got magpie problems in, in whichever country you're from, but in Australia people will uh, like putting things like goggles with eyes on at the back of their head to keep magpies away. Now here I am with all my new gear, trying things out, trying to beat up some ninjas and some some creep. Ah, get away from me! <laughs> some some creep just killed me. Oh well, but that was still exciting. Okay, so here was our very last one. So there we have it. We've only opened up five today, and we'll do. Uh, depending on how long this has taken, then we'll open up another four or five next time and keep going like that until we get through the whole pack, or at least every guy. Like, if we start getting double ups at the end, then that makes it a little less fun, but then we'll just go faster to like, if we open it and get double up, we'll just go poof, throw them away and then open up another one until we get the whole set of 24. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know in the comments below who is your favorite guy. And uh, if you want me to do more Roblox videos, then let me know. Um, if, don't forget to click the thumbs up like button. And before I get too carried away, I've forgotten the most 
kind of like cool part of the endings here is to go over who we found. So uh, Bad CC, we got the Astral Isle Apprentice, we got Crimson Cat's Eye, we got the Roblox High School Quarterback, and then the Cardboard Crusader. So look at that, I'm already learning names. Now, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like I said before, like the video if you like it. But until next time guys, have a great week, take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.